Guitar Hero game. And it's been a lot of fun. We've had the whole band in here performing songs. I got to wear spandex again. It reminded me of the old days. <laughs> what they're doing is they're taking all those movements and digitizing them and inserting them into the video game itself so that it will look more real to life and more personalized and more familiar to people who actually know the band and know the game. I think one of the other things that was kind of fun about today was just the physical side of it and getting up there and jamming and kind of breaking in those muscles. Another thing we did was, was we sat down for a, a bunch of face and body scans to make sure that they had all the proportions right. Metallica music, there is a lot of facial expressions, small, big. When we're on stage, they come out. So hopefully we, we captured a lot of them here. They've, they've got it down to the minute details and, and it's pretty cool. It just goes to show how thorough this whole, whole operation is. You know, scanning our entire bodies, scanning our faces, scanning our motions. It's uh, pretty complete. Favorite part of the day was uh, running around and acting like a nutty 12 year old on stage. That was good. Yeah, one time, one point he, he leaned over to me and said, hey, we're in a video game. <laughs> Metallica is like a, 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 an honest timeline from one album, you know, to where we're at now, honestly where we are in our lives. For me, growing up music was my savior. It was my, my therapy, it was my voice speaking for me. I related to music so much as a kid. When I was growing up, all we had was boomsticks and tennis rackets to <laughs> play air guitar and, and get the feeling of, of being in a band and jamming. All I wanted to do was be the, you know, the guys on the posters in my room. I wanted to be that. My kids, you know, talking about Deep Purple and Mountain and Aerosmith and Black Sabbath, they're not talking about what they hear on the radio. These, this is what they're talking about. And it's, it's really cool to be part of that. Not only would it be an opportunity for the fans to learn the new songs, it would also be an opportunity for us to relearn our new songs. I think it's great. I think having access to new music in this kind of format, I think is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant idea. Feel free and uh, come along with us, go back and explore history and catch up again. Who wouldn't want to be a rock star? I certainly wanted to be, and I'm nearing that, you know, now that we're in a a video game, I think, I think we've reached that. <laughs> Our hero Metallica! Woo! I think this is just another great step for a kid who wants to speak through music. The fact that we get a chance to introduce the Metallica music to a whole new generation and be part of putting a different spin on the video game experience, it's really cool to be part of that. This game is enabling people to step into my stage shoes and be able to experience playing with the band. Probably as close to feeling what we feel as you could get besides trying to get on stage at a concert. I don't recommend that. We have lots of pyro. Metallica's got a giant catalog. Been around for a long time. We've got a lot of songs and uh, the catalog continues to be popular. Including other bands in the Metallica Guitar Hero could be looked at many different ways, whether they were actual support acts, just bands we listened to, or bands that we like that we never got to play with. Paying homage to them and thanking them for inspiring us to get to where we are, because we wouldn't be here without their inspiration.